Hello, and welcome to IamJoshKnox.com, your host for all Josh Knox material on the internet. Today, I'm going to look at grouping and how do we find the most recent record in an Excel uh, table. So by, by way of introduction, this is a, a similar sort of problem that I was just dealing with. I thought I'd show you how I solved it. And you know this might not be the best way, but the best way to find out the best way is to post something on the internet, let some internet troll comment and say, that's not the right way, you should do it this way. So if you are said internet troll, please watch my method and uh, comment at the end and tell me why I'm wrong. But here's how I solved the problem. The issue I had, right, this, this is a, a sample of library data, let's say, of of books that have been checked out by people and, and people's personnel IDs and the dates that they had checked them out, uh, right? And so if you say, what's the most recent book that a, a person has checked out? Um, you know, you, you're, you're looking for, you know, someone's personnel ID and right, the most recent time that they did that. The problem, of course, is I can't just say, you know, show me the most recent thing here. Uh, if we look at the, the people involved and we do a you know, simple format check, right? We can say, oh, right, there are duplicates in here. You know, if I look at this record, you know, I've got two different records. He's checked out two different books at two different times. So I want to know what's the most recent book this person has checked out. And I want to be able to filter out all the other books because I don't, don't care about them. Uh, so the way that I did this is, is using Power Query, we can group on, on the person ID and we can group basis the, the most recent date record. Uh, so I want to show you how I did that in Power Query, how you, you bring this data into Power Query, uh, and then some, some other things that, that you can do. So to bring this data into Power Query, in the Data tab, we can say, give me this table. And so now I have the library data table and I'm going to make a copy of it. And I will show you why in a second, but let's copy this, or sorry, let's duplicate this rather. We'll call this uh, library data grouped because that's what we want to do. And so I want to group this data. I have the, the lovely ability to do this on this transformation. I want to say group on the person ID, but just showing the, the, the record that has the latest date time. And so you can do that group by, I wanna say group on person ID. We'll call the new column uh, most recent date slash time. So I want to see the most recent, that would be the, you know, 2017 is higher than 2007. So I want the max of the date time. Ta-da, now I have a list of these person IDs with the max date time record. Um, what I really want though, isn't just what's the person ID with the latest record, but I want to know What's the person ID? What's the book related to the person ID with the latest record? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use a merge. And I'm going to bring that data uh, into this table, or at least that's what I think I can do. So if we try to, where is my transfer? I want to merge columns. Why can't I merge columns? Let's find out. So maybe I, I can merge the grouped data in here. Uh, so if I want to, here we go, merge queries. That's what I'm looking for, right? So I want to join basically, and I want to say, show me the book where uh, person ID matches the person ID and where the most recent date time is the, the actual date time. So we'll merge queries. And right, this is my grouped table and I'm, I'm joining it to my original library data. And I want to say where these two match 
these two. And I want to take everything from the grouped data and just join the, the book data where it's appropriate. So that would be a left outer join because it is everything from this first table matching uh, the stuff from the second table. And then I can bring in book. And I probably want this formatted as a, looks like it's treating 1984 as a number and Grapes of Wrath as a, as a text, but that's, that's all right. Um, so we've brought this in, right? So we have 889 records here. Our library data right, had, had over a thousand. So we filtered this to, to get rid of the duplicates. And now I'm only looking at the, uh, the most recent. So I have all the most recent personnel data and then what, what book was most recently checked out. So we can load this data. Right, we get we get that output. But let's say I actually just care about not the the ID, but see over over here I have a sheet of of names, right? So it's just names related to personnel ID. And let's say I want to bring out uh, you know, I want to ultimately the report that I want is is a list of names and then the, the most recently checked out book. We can do that in Power Query as well. We just need to add this table. Uh, we'll call this uh, person ID. I'm going to add this table to Power Query. So if I get, get the data from this range. So my person ID is here. And we can do another merge. So I'm going to duplicate this again just for, for cleanliness. We will call this uh, person, most recent book by person. Um, and so I want to do sort of another join. We're gonna merge queries and we're gonna bring in a list of names related to the person IDs. So in this, from here, we go transform, or sorry, home, merge queries. And with person ID, right, we're going to join on the person ID record. Left outer join, right, everything from our group table and just bring in the, uh, that connection. So that's good. In here, I want to display the names. Okay. And now we can do a bit of cleanup. You know, let's say we don't care about when. We just want a list of show me the people and show me their books. Uh, we, we could do that. We could, uh, say, remove the whole column of the dates. We could bring this over here. Perhaps we want to see personnel number and then name and then date, or sorry, personnel number, name, and then book. We could, we could do it like that. Um, you know, if we, all we want is the people, we could say people and book and just get rid of this column. Um, and then we want to, uh, to load and close this as well. We could say load and close to Right. Either if we if we want this sort of as a new report, we could say give me it as a as a new table on a new worksheet. Now here we have that data. This is the the most recent book by uh, by person ID, and then with the the name displayed as well. So I I hope that is helpful to you um, in terms of how to to find that data, how to <clears throat> bring in. Uh, some list and then look at the most recent dates.
Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions, uh, put them in the, the, the comments. If you have a better way of, of doing this, if you say, oh, that's unnecessary because you can do X, Y, Z. I'm interested in seeing how you would solve something like this as well. All right, take care. Bye.